Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Christian here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today it is Advent Calendar Tuesday. I know it's a thing that I just totally made up right now. So basically recently, the last couple of weeks, every week on my channel, I have opened up a different Advent Calendar. And today we're going to be opening up one from The Body Shop. Now I want to say that The Body Shop has three of them. And this is the least expensive of the three. This one was $55. I believe they have one for $85 and one that is a little over $100. So this one along with the other two that I have reviewed, which the ones that I have reviewed thus far are the ones by NYX and Aloxiton. And both of those were 24 day advent calendars. This is also a 24 day advent calendar as well. And if you're not familiar with advent calendars, basically really big around the holiday time and you know, Christmas or whatever holiday that it is that you yourself celebrate. And it's basically a little treat to yourself every single day of the month or every single day up until that specific holiday. If you can see right here, they are dated. So it's supposed to start on the first day of December and then it kind of goes through the 24th right before Christmas. You know, it's just a fun way for you to treat yourself with little gifts here and there. And I have totally been obsessed with advent calendars this year. It came out of nowhere, it hit me by surprise. So every Tuesday I open up different advent calendars. So like I mentioned that we're gonna be opening up this Body Shop advent calendar. You know, I've never purchased anything directly from Body Shop before. I did purchase mine directly from The Body Shop because on Ulta's website, there's one that looks identical to this and it retailed for $85 on Ulta's website. I'm not sure if they're the same, but on The Body Shop's website, this guy retailed for 55. So just to kind of put that out there, if you are interested in it, I would go ahead and buy it directly from Body Shop. If you love all things holiday, if you love all things advent calendar, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I have a lot of holiday stuff planned for you. And I have a new advent calendar coming every single week until I run out of advent calendars to talk about. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. And let's go ahead and see what we have on the inside. So this one is definitely pretty big. So from the one from NYX last week had it all in order, like days one through 24. This one is a little bit more fun. I kind of like it this style a little bit more because the, the days are kind of all over the place. So it's like a little bit more of a scavenger hunt, which makes it a little bit more fun and a little bit more exciting to open the, the, open the products. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and start with day number one. So day number one looks like it is going to be right here. This is the Mango Lip Butter and I'm assuming that's just going to be kind of like a, a lip balm and for a lip balm that is actually a pretty decent size. So that's the first thing. Day number two is right over here. Day number two is going to be Mango Shower Gel and this is two fluid ounces two fluid ounces so that's actually not bad let's go ahead and give this a smell that actually smells pretty pretty good so this will be really great in my gym bag not that i actually ever shower at the gym but there might be that day where i need to shower at the gym and that'll come in handy day number three i spotted it right away let's go ahead and see what we have oh this is cute what are you okay so it's just it's not in any type of packaging or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and assume, is this like a soap? Let me look at the back. Does it say? I'm not really sure what this is. Um, maybe it's like a little soap or maybe it's like some type of bath melt or something like that. There's nothing in here, it's not packaged in anything. So let me kind of put him right there. Guys, right, so let's go ahead and take a look at day number four. This is day number four right over here. And his little door, let's see, let's see. All right, something else that's kind of big. So this is, we're just gonna keep this up here. Do you guys see day number five? Let me know if you see day number five. This is the Body Shop Coconut Shower Gel Cream. This is what day number five looks like. Let's give it a smell. That actually smells pretty good. It's like a light coconutty smell. So, so we so far we have two shower gels, a lip butter and a little star, a star guy. So. All right, we're coming up here at the top. We have day number five, and he looks like he's going to be long and thin. What's behind door number five? Okay, I don't do my own nails ever, but my hair has gotten flat. But you get a, you get a nail file in day number five. So that's what we got. So I will probably never use that, but my mom does do her own nails, so I will give that to her. Then we have day number six chilling right here. So let's go ahead and see what's behind door number six. Another shower gel. Do they sell anything other than shower gels at the Body Shop? This is the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Shower Gel. Let's smell this guy. 
Ooh, I don't like it. It smells like true, real gel. Um, grape or grapefruit not artificial or anything like that so if you love grapefruit you will love the smell of that what are we on day number seven is right here oh he smells good i didn't even see does the star smell good okay actually i do like the smell of both of these I like the smell of the heart more. Somebody let me know, and I guess I can look it up on the Body Shop's website because they tell you literally everything that comes in here. Are these soaps or are these like bath melts or something? So I don't like the fact that they don't come like sealed already though. That's kind of, I guess that's not that big of a deal, but I would prefer them to come sealed, especially if I don't want to use it right away. This shirt. What number are we on? I'm so, okay. We're on day eight. We're on eight. And number eight is right here. If it is a shower gel, I'm giving up on life right now. Do not be a shower gel. It's a shower gel, isn't it? I can feel it. It's a shower gel. Can it at least be a lotion? Come on, body shop. Give me a lotion. Okay, so this is a shower cream. So the coconut was a shower cream. These were shower gels. So I guess there is a little bit of a difference between them. And this is a strawberry shower gel. Let's give it a, let's give it a whiff. Oh, I like the way that that smells. That one, this one smells a little bit more artificial than the grapefruit one, but it still smells nice. Day number nine. So day number nine is gonna make you dizzy if you look at it too long. Okay, something different, something different. I'm excited, what are you? Oh, okay, I mean, you, that's cool. It has a lash curler in here. I have been using the same lash curler forever. I got it from Sephora last year during the VIB sale, and this is the Surratt lash curler. I guess you can never have too many lash curlers. So, I mean, that's a good, that's a good little, a good little situation. Okay, what day was that? Was that number nine? I just had it. Okay, so day number 10. Where did day number 10 go? Day number 10 is right here. Okay, this looks like a lotion. Can I get a lotion to go with all my shower gels? Yes, it's a lotion. Yay, finally. So I can smell the same. This is the Body Shop Mango Lotion. It's the whipped lotion. So we now have a pair. We have a lotion and a shower gel. I'm assuming we're gonna have matching pairs to go with the rest of them. What day was that? What, what day was that? <sighs> okay, I think that was 10. So number 11 is right here. Number 11 looks like it's gonna be pretty big. I really like the design of this one. This one might be my favorite so far. So, oh, I kind of cheated and it opened the whole thing. Okay, we get a power puff, a power puff. So to go along with, what are, what are these called? A sponge, it's not called a sponge, a loofah. Is this a, a loofah? Oh, oh, okay. So you also get a loofah to go along with all of your different shower gels. So I actually have been meaning to pick up one of these for quite a while. So I'm glad that this actually came included. So at least everything is going together. So I'm assuming I've got two more lotions coming my way at some point. So we have, let's see, we've got number 12 right here behind some polka dots. It's, a, it's some type of soap because I just got it underneath my nails. Okay, so he's different. This guy, he's a little Christmas tree and he actually feels like a soap, whereas these, maybe they're just different types of soap. Why am I so confused by what these are? Um, but I know for sure he's a soap and this is gonna be so cute to put in my bathroom closer to the holidays. This little guy just actually smells like more of like a clean soap kind of fragrance. Okay, what day was, he, what day was that? 12, right? Okay, so 13. So we have 13 right here. If this is another nail file, I'm gonna be kind of upset because I do not need more than one nail file. Oh, it's like an eyeliner. I didn't know the Body Shop did makeup. So it's their Eye Definer Cold Crayon. Let's go ahead and, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know that they did makeup. I literally thought they were just body products. That's it right there. Where is 14? Does anybody see 14? I don't know why I'm asking, like y'all are gonna be able to answer. Where's 14? Oh, here he is. So here's day number 14 right here. What are you? This is a soft facial cleans cleansing sponge for gentle, it's gentle to the skin. So let's see. It says it's perfect for deep cleansing your skin and removing makeup. Rinse thoroughly before first use. For best results, dampen the sponge, apply cleanser, rinse clean, and dry naturally. I mean, that's kind of cool on a day where I want to be lazy and I don't want to take the time to go use either my Lori, uh, my Luna, or my Clarisonic. This might actually be kind of cool, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm going to leave that probably in my shower. Because there are days where I really don't want to mess with the whole electronic devices on my face. So that looks like it might be a quick way to kind of help get a little bit of extra makeup off. Okay, so what day was that? I'm all over the place with this one. I have no idea what day that was. Was that day 14? 
Yeah, that was day 14. So we're on day 15 now. Day 15 is right here. Oh, what do we got? Okay. Oh, a hand cream. I love, I love, I love hand creams, especially in the colder months. Not that it gets that cold in Houston, Texas. By the way, go Stroh's. I haven't said that on my channel yet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm big into sports anyway, but I thought I would throw it out there. Okay. That smells good. What flavor is this or what scent? Oh, coconut. <laughs> Duh. So that is what was behind door number 15. I'm excited. This is probably my favorite so far because I love a good hand cream. Day number 16 is right here. Day number 16 looks like it's going to be a little bit of a small little nugget. Let's see. It looks like it might be another lip situation. Yes, this is another lip butter. And this lip butter is just in the shade Shea Butter, I'm going to go ahead and assume. During winter, the winter months and the cooler months, you can never have too many lip butters. Okay, so we're on to day number 17. Day number 17 is right here. What are, what are you? Oh, cool. This is an eye makeup remover. It's a chamomile eye makeup remover. Okay, I'm excited about that one. This one too. So it says that it's for a gentle eye makeup. It's a gentle eye makeup remover with calming calamine extract for from Norfolk, England. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this. Um, because sometimes most of my cleansing balms get my eye makeup off, but sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'll have black right under here. So, which, oh, for my mascara, obviously, I was like, I don't even wear black eyeliner. Where does it come from? But I wear a lot of proof, waterproof mascara. So I'm going to see if this is going to help get my mascara off even a little bit better. I'm excited about that too. That was a cool one. What day was he? He was 17. We have day number 18 right here. It's a hand and nail manicure cream. I'm not gonna lie, I don't take really good care of my nails. Um, so what is the difference between just regular hand cream and hand and nail cream? Is it gonna be like thicker? It says for expert care for hands and nails. That's what he looks like. Let's see, and I love almonds. So yep, love the way that that smells. Are we on day number 20? No, we're on day number 19. We've got day number 19 right over here. Bath gloves, used with shower gel for hands-on exfoliation. Okay, I can be into that. I didn't, I didn't know that this was a thing. Let's see, because I have kind of big hands. I'm a very large lady, so let's see. Let's see if these fit. I'm gonna be so mad if they don't fit. I mean, that's kind of cool in theory. I don't know that I would actually be like, let me put on my hand gloves so I can exfoliate my elbows. But I mean, it definitely feels like with my hand in here, it definitely does feel exfoliating. Oh yeah, it is exfoliating. So I don't know if I would actually, how practical this is because I shower in the morning, like before work, like early in the morning typically. So I don't know that I would ever do this, but maybe on a day where you're like relaxing and taking a bath and you just want to pamper yourself, these little guys might come in handy. I'm actually going to put them in my bathroom next, like on my counter with all of my other bath stuff to see if I ever actually reach for them because it's actually kind of cool in theory but it's kind of not practical for for the way I live my life but I'm into it so now we're on to number 20 number 20 is right here I really want to get the Charlotte Tilbury one but hers is two hundred dollars and I'm kind of like, Lord have mercy. I don't know if I want to spend $200 on a bunch of minis. I don't care how fun it is to open. We've got another body butter. So this isn't like the more traditional packaging. This is the Body Shop British Rose Instant Glow Body Butter. Ooh, okay. I'm going to open this one up. Let's see if I get a glow. I think I had highlighter on earlier, so this might not be fair. Can you guys tell a difference? I don't know. I don't feel a glow, but it does feel very hydrating and moisturizing. So that was number 20. Do we see 21 anywhere? Ah, 21, I see it. 21 is right up here. I do need to get my brows done, but I'm trying to grow them out so bad. I never like, every time I try to grow my brows up, I, I get so far and then I'm like, I, do, I cannot take this anymore. So I got the subtle hint. It comes with a brow brush. So that was number 21. So we're on to 22. 22 is this little nugget right here. Let's open him up. Ooh, okay, now that that lotion has sank into my skin, it smells good, you guys. And I didn't even put a lot. It's really nice. Is this another lip balm? So it's another lip product. It's different than these two right here. So this one has like different packaging. So I would have to look and see what the differences are. Maybe this one, 
Ooh, that smells, that smells like straight up like artificial candy, like super sweet and super sugary. I don't think I'm gonna get another like lotion. I'm kind of sad. Day number 23 is gonna be right here. Are you a lotion? Be a matching lotion. Be, it is not. I, heard, I saw musk. White musk body lotion. Okay, well it's a lotion, so I guess I got what I asked for. And it specifically says, do not apply to face. Let's smell this. Does it smell like musk? I can't really smell it because of, because this has a very overpowering scent. Not in a bad way. Again, the white musk body lotion. And we are on the last little guy. That is day number 24. And we've got day number 24 right over here. Ooh, this is cute. What are you? It's a glitter dust. So it's like in a little star and then it's glitter. That is all 24 days of the Body Shops advent calendar. Like I mentioned, this is one of three. There are three of them. This is the third advent calendar that I've opened. While I, I do prefer the L'Occitane body one better, I was a lot more excited about the products that came in there. I think out of all of the products that came in here, out of 24, I think I was kind of excited, maybe about between like eight and 10. And again, this retail for 55 bucks. So, I mean, still not bad. I mean, and the sizes are pretty, the sizes are actually pretty generous on everything. They are definitely bigger than some of the sample, some of the sizes that you got in the L'Occitane, but I definitely prefer that one. I was a lot more excited about the things that came out of that guy than some of the ones that came out of this one. I definitely think some of it is cool and some of it I will probably use or at least try out. Um, I'm a little sad that I got all of these shower gels and no lotions though, I'm not gonna lie. For $55, it's definitely a good deal. It's still a great way to try out a brand if you wanna try, if you definitely are interested in trying a bunch of different products from a brand. So I'm not hating on it from that aspect, but I think it's still, again, I still think for the most part, these are great values. I would rank this number two so far. So I would rank L'Occitane number one, then I would rank um, this one and then the next one because out of the ones that I've opened so far. So next week, I believe we are gonna be doing the Sephora one and then leave your suggestions down below for any other ones that you would like to see coming up uh, because those are the only ones that I've already purchased. So, so leave your suggestions down below for any of the ones that you would like to see coming up. I really hope that you are enjoying the unboxing of the advent calendars because I think it's a lot of fun and I'm really, really having fun doing it. Yeah, you guys, I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you head out. If you are not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And yeah, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.